James Collado, of course, is joining us on Sports Car 365. Uh, after the test day, you had a chance to kind of measure yourself up against the opposition. The BOP largely unchanged from the test day. In your opinion, based on what you saw on that test day, are you pretty comfortable with the decision that uh, the sanctioning body has made to leave the class basically intact? Yeah, I think overall, uh, as a general, the test day went according to plan uh, as far as uh, our, our sides. Uh, our team are pretty confident that the you know the car is in good shape. We found a pretty good base setup. Uh, in terms of BOP, uh, it was noticeable that Corvette was really, really strong, especially in, in the straight line. So uh, it seems that they've got uh, a bit more power than us, but I think they've just been pegged back uh, a tiny little bit. We don't know how much that is in terms of performance, but um, I'm hoping it's enough so that we can uh, we can live with them in a straight line. Uh, you know, and uh, it's still an unknown really until we get to quali. Um, I think the Porsche is going to be strong, uh, so we'll see. But you know, we can only do our job. We can only drive with the, you know, with with the best of what we've got, and uh, we'll, we'll see at the end. But at the end of the day. You know, speed isn't isn't everything. It's 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 mainly about finishing uh, with a with a fresh car at the end. Do you have a sense for what the car to beat in your class might be, or what the package to beat might be? I think overall, everyone is 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 a tough competitor, uh, especially this year. We've got you know Ford, who are very very strong. We saw they were they were quick last year. <laughs> Corvette and obviously Porsche. So uh, you know they're all they're all good quality drivers, world class drivers, and. Um, you know, it's nice to be part of that, so uh, everyone's a competitor and uh, we've just got to do a good job. How much have you guys gone back to the drawing board after the test to try and identify areas where you can find a little bit of speed? I think it's just fine details, you know, in terms of setup and uh, and what we can do to improve the car. And uh, it's just normal procedure, really. It's nothing special for Le Mans. It's just something uh, we do every race.